Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Nick Hilaire Show. I think, uh, you know, personally, I think garbage is is one thing that we can control a little bit, right? It's it's hard to like, you know, you know, it's hard to give up that, you know, it's getting on an aeroplane and flying to to your family reunion. How you know how do you stop those carbon emissions that way? But that personal responsibility about how much garbage you create um, is something that we can each uh, affect in our own lives in a very real way. Uh, today, right? You can start today. Yeah, totally. Yeah, there you, it's, a, it's an area of life where you could have immediate impact right now, which is yes. which is exciting. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's critical. Like I love I love what you what you're working on, what you guys are working on, because if you start to think about what ha- what does the world look like if everyone else is consuming at the level that America is consuming at, whether it's you know things like the meat industry or even just Amazon style consumption, just garbage, right? Like not real garbage, but like things you don't really need in your house, but you buy because they're incredibly cheap. Um, Imagine if everyone on earth has that kind of access uh, to to consumer items, we'd really have a trash problem if we don't get out in front of it with technologies like, uh, like yours. Yeah. I mean, imagine like, let's say you came whitewater rafting um, at my company, right? Came whitewater rafting and then you say, okay, here's your helmet, here's your life jacket. And um, okay, we're going to go on this white water rafting trip. And after this white water rafting trip, just put it in the garbage bin over there. You think like, oh my God, these people like use once like a, a life jacket that you use once, a helmet that you use once. That's crazy. But you know, uh, we we do that all the time with you know paper cups with plastic bottles, uh, you know, and and we don't even think about it, right? We don't even think about about how how much single use there is in our life in things that that weren't. Uh, before, I mean, when I was growing up, you know, my mom every every year at the start of school, you know, she'd take me out and buy a water bottle and say, you know, be really careful, make sure that this water bottle lasts you for the whole year. And now we just buy, you know, things in bottles all the time and just throw them away all the time without even thinking about it. Um, and it's only when we have a very outlandish example, you know, use this life jacket once and never again. Then we're like, oh, wait a minute, that's so wasteful. Um, but we do it all, you know, there's, think about our lives. There's like 10 things that we do that, right? Yeah, without even I, thinking. Without, I know. Even what you mentioned earlier, like the the four pounds of trash or whatever, is that the number of four pounds of trash per day? That, four and a half. Four and a half, yeah. That's <laughs> wild. This is a lot of garbage. But I, I mean, I was thinking about what what my mornings look like and like I'm on my way, right? I've had I've had a couple. I've had one of these drinks. I've had some coffee. I, I had a banana. Like it's starting to add up, right? All the all the stuff. So, yeah, and and it's the whole supply chain, right? I mean, you know, you remember the time when like soda came in bottles, and then you'd return it for like a nickel, and yeah. and that was how it it used to be, right? It used to be, you know, uh, we talk about how we make money as kids, right? Going <laughs> collecting all these bottles yeah. and going back to the shop. Totally. No one does that anymore. Yeah, it doesn't seem that. I I remember doing that and it was a lot of work, but you would get like $10 at the end of it and it was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, yeah. and it was it was how it was how it was, uh, you know, and and now we don't even question um the amount of packaging that we have, the amount of, you know, things that just end up yeah, ridiculously packaged. Yeah, crazy. Well, you this has been a fascinating conversation. I'm really excited about Phoenix Tell me where where is Phoenix in its life cycle as a company? You got your prototype. It sounds like you've got your intellectual property secured. Like, what what's the plan? Are you trying to raise venture funds? What are you gonna What are you trying to do? Um, currently, we are at the last stage of our R and D and getting into pilots. Um, so we we've got a pilot. Uh, we've got uh, one pilot lined up um, uh, at a port, getting rid of waste from ports. Um, and we want to get a few more pilots under our belt uh, and and get that feedback. You know getting it used in a proper waste management situation, getting that feedback to come up with our commercial model. So we are, you know, maybe about a year away from having uh, having our, pro, um, our product uh, ready to be commercialized. Um, but at the moment, we're, we're looking for people who have trash <laughs> to, to run pilots with. Nice. So, okay. Uh, well, yeah. there's no, no shortage of that, apparently. So I'm sure you'll, you'll find plenty of people uh, with trash to get rid of. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know, uh, you know, if anyone wants to get uh, get in touch with us, uh, where where you know our website is uh, is up, you can contact us through our website. 
um, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And I'll make sure that when we send out the, this episode, everyone has links to, to Phoenix and knows how to get in touch with you. So th thank you so yes. much for taking the time today and I'll look forward to seeing how the next year goes and, and, uh, what, what happens with Phoenix. Yes. Great trash talk, Nick. Likewise. Yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs>